Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, uh, CCP Data Engineer Certification. And so far we have covered Data Ingest and now we, we are starting on uh, uh, Transform Stage and Store. So this uh, category is all about uh, uh, transforming the data. Uh, so converting a set of data values in one format to another format. Uh, applying uh, 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 several transformations using uh, uh, high functions etc and also it uh, asks us to convert data from one file format to another write your data with compression uh, convert data from one set of values to another change the data format of values in a data set purge bad records from a data set etc so uh, you can do these things with uh, 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 several programming languages uh, either by using MapReduce or Pig or uh, Hive you can uh, accomplish most of these things. But here they primarily emphasize on Hive so I will try to cover uh, uh, in detail with Hive but as part of the certification I think you can use any of uh, the choice you can uh, either develop a MapReduce program or a Pig uh, script or uh, Hive queries. Uh, to perform these things okay so uh, these are the tasks con uh, converting data uh, from one file format to another so by default the data is st uh, stored in text file and uh, hive supports other file formats also such as uh, parkway tavro uh, sequence file etc so we should understand how to convert from one file format to another we should be able to enable compression and make sure the data is compressed and uh, probably you might have to understand how the compression works uh, as well. Then converting data from one set of values to another. Um, so uh, here we have to understand the UDFs and also uh, uh, using external libraries uh, to perform these things. And then change the data format of values in a data set. So for example, uh, a date might be represented in a number. You might want to convert into string. So you have to change the format of values in a data set which means you, you might have to apply the UDF functions to do so. And then you should be able to filter out the bad records from a data set uh, especially with the null values or even uh, any invalid data. And uh, then deduplication and merge data. Uh, so there is no update feature in uh, Hive directly. So you have to apply uh, framework which actually deduplicate the data which will take a lot of effort. So you will understand that as well as part of that learning task. Then denormalize data from multiple disparate data sets. Um, evolve an Avro or Parquet schema. So given a, a, Avro, given a table with Avro or Parquet uh, format, you should be able to evolve uh, 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 by adding new columns. And then uh, partitioning and query uh, tuning tuning data for optimal query performance. So all these things you need to be aware of. So uh, before getting into these things, first you need to understand basic uh, uh, DDLs, uh, how to create the tables, how to load the data and all those things. So we will start with those things first and then we will come into these things. So even though they are not explicitly mentioned here, all those things are uh, required. You, you need to learn those, thing, uh, those tasks before getting to here. Okay, so this is just an introduction video for uh, uh, for rest of the topics and we will cover all the topics one at a time uh, uh, in uh, several videos. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about uh, uh, Big Data or Hadoop, please join my LinkedIn group called uh, ITVersity-Big Data. If you want to discuss further about certifications, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity-Certifications. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. And also, if you live in countries like US, UK and any other country where uh, fan funding or support the channel feature is uh, available, you will see support this channel section here. You can click on that and you can contribute as much as you want so that I can come up with more and more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.